Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and here with another Indiana Jones review, and this one is on the Jungle Cutter from 2008 or 9. Uh, probably 9. And, or whatever, but yeah. So, first off, with the mini picks included. As we would have Indiana Jones himself, which is quite the same as shown that appears in a few other sets, of course, and, and of course holding the whip piece, obviously. And also do you get uh, two different uh, Russian soldiers, or, obviously, or German Russian soldiers, with the interesting cap piece that we don't see very much, of course, and in nice sand green and also, the torso printing is a little bit different, like one's like kind of bronzish and one that is silverish, and also different face prints, it's obviously. And also, I'm uh, not sure about this one, but aside from that, it does have some good torso print and also the classic cop hat piece, but in tan, it's nice to have, and also alright uh, face print to him. And also, none of which do have any leg printing, which if they redid this for the upcoming fifth film or fifth movie, then probably include that on uh, anyways. But yeah, but, and of course having that other black or blaster gun piece there, and also not in only uh, back face printings or back torso prints since they're older figs, of course. Oops, but yeah. And next to which we also get about four of the ant pieces representing the killer ants for suiting to this fourth movie, obviously. Although it wouldn't be nice if they were like all red, since they kind of look that way in the movie. And of course, good to include in both this and the uh, jungle duel set, of course. There's to like grow your bunch of it, or get separate off Bricklink, obviously, but yeah. And that's about it there. And also, what you do get are these two little weapons to use for both of the fix, obviously, like this would probably represent a bazooka for them, or maybe both of which, and it's, since it's on a ratchet wrench kind of piece, but yeah. And also, do you get three of these tree builds? Which are kind of funny for that. Just made a few cylinders and the classic leaf bush pieces and stamping on uh, tan dishes. But although I think they could have been in like either uh, black or dark brown or whatever. And also in the middle, it's the leaf part of it. But and also to note is that if you get this set, it should include these three leaf pieces at the bottom of all three trees, because since I got this used eventually, I it didn't include that, but I can get it eventually off Brickling, of course, but yeah. And why is that for like that? Well, it's for the main features of it, which I'll go over later. And also this one side build of it, which is some little jungle cave, which Kind of close to that, something from Adventurer's Jungle Line from 99, of course. See, like, the small, ugly rock pieces off to the side, and also do get a few stubs on top for figs to stand on, of course. Uh, one side, though, a couple more of those classic tree pieces, and also the vines, or otherwise, Bionicle Paracas vines, mini versions used there, of course, and classic rock piece, of course. And also the main feature is if you turn this gear piece or grab this handle piece, then the gray spiderweb piece can like uh, rotate up, of course, which revealing a little chest of things or entryway to something. Which if you have the large uh, Temple of the Crystal Skull set, it can lead to there if you want it. Oops. And 
special set in the crate are the classic tool pieces and also a few gems as well. The, so quite well done for a small side build, obviously. Okay. And last of which is the jungle cutter itself. And first you're probably wondering, like, where are all the stickers and all? Well, is since I got it used somewhere, it just didn't include that. But I'm all right with that. And or I can eventually get separate off Bricklink, obviously. And yeah. But so, anyways. That's for the front part, of which which does include these little uh, chainsaw pieces or saw blade pieces and little wheels to rotate them, like we've seen in one Ninjago set, obviously. And also these uh, front dish pieces acting as front bits, of course, and also little wheels in there representing representing like engine bits or something. Uh, here we go. And also, same wheel pieces used for the sides with to hold a lot of the smallish track pieces and or tread pieces in. They do roll quite well, obviously. You can see plain good use of the jagged slopes and see mix of dark green, sand green, of course. And also plenty of extra bits to it, and also bionicle piston piece there, but used as exhaust to, uh, part, of course. And do get a couple more as well back there. And of course, line of it that leads to the cockpit piece, and the rooftop can pop off easily, like most other vehicles uh, of today. And of course, a little extra, plenty of room to fit one of your German soldier or I mean, when you're Russian soldier figs into a course. Can place on top. And if you wonder what this feature is for, is you press on it and it blows up. Just like we see with some sets of today. And of course, which has the engine bit exposed and whatnot. And easy enough to pop back on again since it's on just two studs, of course. So in terms of build to it, but now to the main feature is push it along and of course get the soft blades turning of course. But unfortunately with mine, not sure if it's just mine uh, that is, or maybe it's, you don't both don't turn at once, but yeah. And if you have the tree is right there and light them right down of course. Uh, but yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. So, for my overall verdict, is I think this is which a quite cool set for the time. Like, of course, a unique vehicle that does shred down trees and all. And, of course, a nice little side build of very few, well effective with few pieces, of course. And also, of course, nice to include the uh, killer ants, of course. Although, minifig selection, I wish they also could have included uh, Marion Ravenwood and Mutt Williams as well. But maybe that would have been a little too much, but yeah. And, of course, the exploring feature. Quite nice, always good to have for playability, obviously, and yeah. And if they do remake it, it is, if this does get remade eventually, well, I hope they add a bit more to it, of course, but, or I mean, kind of make those improvements, but yeah. And so now if y'all still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it, and for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely pick it up, eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.